Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on calculating mean from grouped frequency tables. So we've got the heights of different flowers and we've recorded how many flowers there are in different groups. So we've got six flowers with a height between 20 to 30 centimetres and so on. Now really I should be saying estimate the mean, not calculate the mean, because it's not actually possible to work out the exact mean. Because we don't know the exact height of these six flowers in the 20 to 30 centimetre range. And we don't know the exact heights of these five flowers other than knowing they're in this range. So we can only estimate what the mean is. We can't actually calculate it. Now in a previous video, we saw that for an ungrouped frequency table, we could just take each height and times it by the frequency, then add all those pairs together and divide by the total frequency. The problem here is that we don't have individual heights. We've got height ranges. But there's only one extra thing we need to do. Those six flowers with a height between 20 and 30 centimetres, we don't know what their exact height was, but on average, we expect those flowers to be halfway between 20 and 30 centimetres. So we're just going to use a value of 25, halfway between 20 and 30, to represent those six flowers. So we're just going to say there's six flowers with a height of 25 centimetres. And then the 30 to 40 interval, we're just going to say that the height was halfway between. The average height was 35. And then finally, that one flower, we don't know what its height was between 40 and 50, but on average we expect it to be halfway between 40 and 50, which is 45. So we're just putting the midpoints of each of the ranges. And then we do exactly what we did before when we're finding the mean of a ungrouped frequency table. So we just do each height times the frequency. So we do 25 times 6, which is 150. We do 35 times 5, which is 175. And then we do 45 times 1, which is 45. And we add them up and we get 370 centimetres. So what that represents is that's an estimate of the total height of all the flowers. Now, if we've got the total height of all the flowers, we just then need to divide that by the total frequency. We don't divide by three, because I know there's three rows, but that doesn't mean we divide by three. We divide by the total number of flowers. We can see there's six plus five plus one, which is 12 flowers. And if we do 370 divided by 12, that gives us 30.83 centimetres to two decimal places. So that's our estimate of the mean height of a flower. Always check whether your mean sounds sensible. We can see we've got more flowers at the lower height end than the higher height end. So we expect the mean height to be somewhere below 35. And indeed it is, it's 30.83. So that seems like a sensible estimate. 